Here are stories making news in our area right now. I'm Rob Johnson. It is primary election day here in Illinois today, and CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker has been out speaking with voters. There is a real energy here at O'Keefe Elementary. There are four precincts in this gymnasium. We've got one here, one back there. There's another one over here, one at the door. And the poll workers tell me that it's really been busy all morning. There have constantly been people who are behind, who are casting their votes. And then there are people who are standing in line, getting ready to cast their vote. They've been coming and going all morning long. And what's interesting, I, I took a quick poll and I just kind of went around to see how many people had come in. Almost 300 people so far since this particular place opened, which the poll workers tell me is a pretty good turnout. Confusion at the polls in the race for Cook County Assessor, Pam Zeckman is here with more. We have a bit of a bombshell thrown into the midst of the race for Cook County Assessor. It's a highly contested race, and today the female candidate, An Andrea Rayla, who successfully at the last minute got her name on the ballot, it had been taken off because of a contest over the validity of her petitions. She was put on the ballot and she's running in the race, and these notices that were prepared in advance for that race, notifying voters that they could not vote for Rayla, were supposed to be taken out of commission, not present, not posted in the precinct polling place. Rayla is now saying that thousands and thousands of people are complaining that they were still posted and many of those were not allowed to vote for Rayla and she is planning to fight the results of the election. Late this afternoon, a spokesman for the Board of Elections told CBS2 they did make a mistake in this case. Right now, it is not clear or if it will impact the eventual outcome for the assessor's race. And finally, here's Mary Kay Kleist with your forecast. We have mostly cloudy skies around the area. Chilly winds continue and those winds will be gusty through the night. Right now we have a sustained wind out of the north northeast to 20 at O'Hare. We have a 35 degree temperature for this first afternoon of spring and winds are gusting to 35 miles per hour in Gary, 24 mile per hour winds in McHenry, 26 in Aurora. So some of the wind chills are feeling like the 20s in spots. It feels like a 26 degree temperature now in Kankakee. Feels like 24 in McHenry. So as we move through the night, winds stay up with us clouds are the rule and it will be chilly. In fact, when we look at the rest of March, temperature trends do dip the jet stream just south of us and that's going to keep us cooler than normal.